coined the expression body flirting. Can you demonstrate what body flirting is for us? You bet I can. And as a matter of fact, I have prepared some clips that I'm going to show you right now. Body flirting begins with realizing that your entire body is a communication instrument and everything that you put on it projects who you are and what you think about yourself, what you think about men, yourself, and sex, remember? So I want to emphasize to you that from a study that was done about men's preferences in clothing, sophisticated body conscious clothing won. And preppy came in last because most men considered it a little too boring. However, you will want some beautiful preppy clothing because today preppy clothing is getting more body conscious. I'll give you an example of something along that line in just a few minutes. Right now let's talk a little bit more about body flirting. See body flirting is very important because of the visual impact that is so important to men. Baby boys are more visual than baby girls. I mean they're the ones that mobiles were really invented for. And what do they respond to on those mobiles? Two things, color, vibrant color, and motion, all right? So you duplicate that same type of vibrance and energy in your clothing as part of your body flirting. Vibrant colors. As a matter of fact, red, and I'm not wearing red, but I wear red a lot, red has been proven to increase the pulse rate when you look at it. And it's a very friendly, attractive color. It also makes you visible. But then what about motion? Well, you use jewelry, and especially gold, which will pick up the light and bring emphasis to your face. Not only that, but you want to emphasize your best body feature in your body conscious clothing. So let's talk about that a minute. If your features of your face are really your best, then do everything you can. Wear solid colors and bring most of the attention to your face. If you have beautiful shoulders, well, wear clothing that has shoulder interest and then go a step further and flirt with your body by, you know, raising your shoulders whenever you talk. If you have gorgeous hands and, and pretty wrists, have your nails done long and, and talk and gesture a lot with your hands. And if you have those little teeny waistlines, big wide belts with an interesting belt buckle can make a good conversation starter for you. And if you happen to have those fabulous hips and thighs that the rest of us women will shoot you for, well get the fitted slacks and skirts and then you know how to shift and shift. And if you have a fabulous bosom, well, I won't tell if you unbutton it an extra button. The main thing is, is to remember the visual and the motion for body conscious clothing and vibrant colors. And speaking of enticing body language, uh, you will want to know how to send a very clear come hither signal to men that you are available. It's been shown that whenever a woman is feeling available and uh, welcomes the attention of a man, she sends a signal by crossing her leg and the higher that she crosses it on her thigh, forcing an arched back, in this way she is actually sending a, an available signal. If she crosses it down low in this manner, it's just a relaxed state. So if you want to send something uh, in a message with your body to a man without saying a word, just pull it on up, arch back, and be friendly. And I'll be right back to show you a preppy style. As I said, preppy clothing is becoming more body conscious all the time, which is making it have more appeal to men than it had before. But remember too that preppy clothing is part of your body language to communicate with women, but also with men who have money and are used to their mothers and their sisters and so on wearing it. Uh, preppy clothing normally means that it's nothing too flashy uh, or too sophisticated. It tends to have longer hemlines and usually is worn with flat-heeled shoes. While I'm speaking about clothing and body language, let me say this, the way it affects your mental attitude. 
be superstitious about your clothing. For Pete's sake, don't wear clothing that you've had unhappy experiences in. Now, we know that clothing cannot have any power, but what you associate your clothing with does. And if, if you have an outfit that every time you've worn it, you've had a miserable time, get rid of the outfit. Only wear clothing, or most of the time anyway, wear clothing that you feel very good in and you've had lots of happy experiences in. It shows. Mm -hmm.